Chapter 5 Education 5.1 Education is critical for improving life prospects of persons with disabilities. In addition to socialization of children with disabilities, CWDs through education assumes an important role in our society where persons with disability face marginalization. However, despite the importance of education for persons with disability, educational index for children with disabilities is not very encouraging. Literacy rate among PWDs is about 55% which is lower compared to 74.04% for the population at large. 5.2 in India, education of children with disabilities started traditionally through special schools in the 70s and in 1974. The first scheme, Integrated Education of Disabled Children, IEDC, was introduced stressing the need for inclusion of children with mild and moderate disabilities in regular school settings. In 1986, the National Policy on Education brought the fundamental issue of equality for children with special needs to the forefront of education system. The objective of education as per the said policy was to integrate physically and mentally disabled people with the general community as equal partners, to prepare them for normal growth and to enable them to face life with courage and confidence. 5.3 By mid-90s, the Government of India initiated the primary education program with a sub-component of integrated education for the disabled to universalize primary education. An enactment of PWD Act 1995, which mandated free education for students with disability, was an important intervention concerning education for children with disabilities. Five point four. In the year 2001, the government launched the Sarva Siksha Abhiyan SSA with the objective of providing uninterrupted good quality education to children between the ages 6 to 14 years, wherein the education of children with special need was an important component. The SSA adopted a zero rejection policy, implying that no child with special needs could be neglected, not denied enrollment on the basis of disability concerns. 5.5 .5, for inclusion of children and youth with disabilities in education to ensure that no child is denied education in mainstream education. It also provides for home-based learning for persons with severe, multiple and intellectual disabilities. 5.6 In 2007, India became a part to the UNCRPD. Article 24 of the said convention mandates the government to ensure that persons with disabilities are not excluded from the general education system on the basis of disability and reasonable accommodation is provided to meet individuals' requirements to maximize academic and social development consistent with the goal of full inclusion. 5.7 The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016, which is in line with the spirit of the UN Convention, focuses on inclusive education besides mandating the government to ensure that children with benchmark disabilities have access to free education up to 18 years of age in a special school or in a neighborhood school as per their choice. The Act further elaborates specific measures to promote and facilitate inclusive education under Section 16 and 17 of the Act, which inter alia includes the following. Admitting students with disabilities without discrimination. Making buildings, campus and various facilities accessible. Imparting education to students with disabilities in the most appropriate languages and modes and means of communication. Provide transportation facilities to children with disabilities, including attendant of children with high support needs. Training of professionals, teachers and staff 
to support inclusive education at all levels of education. Promoting use of appropriate augmentative and alternative modes of communication including Braille and Sign Language. Supplementing daily communication needs for persons with speech, communication or language disabilities. Making suitable modifications in the curriculum and examination system to meet the needs of students with disabilities. Promoting research to improve learning. 5.8 National Education Policy 2020 aims at equitable and inclusive education and learning for all from the perspective of students with disabilities, the said policy states that the objective of the education system should be to benefit India's children so that no child loses any opportunity to learn and excel because of circumstances of birth or background. Recognizes the importance of creating enabling mechanisms for providing children with special needs or the young the same opportunities of obtaining quality education as any other child. Emphasizes on measures such as peer tutoring, open schooling, appropriate infrastructure and suitable technology interventions to ensure access to education, particularly for certain children with disabilities. Recommends adding preschool sections covering at least one year of early childhood care and education to Kendri Vidyalayas and other primary school around the nation, particularly in the areas inhabited by disadvantaged groups in the society. Priority to ensuring inclusion and equal participation of children with Disabilities in Early Childhood Care and Education, ECCE. Advocates provision of resources in school and school complexes for the integration of children with disabilities, recruitment of special educators with cross-disability training and for the establishment of resource centers whenever needed, especially for children with severe or multiple disabilities. Emphasizes provision of barrier-free access for all children with disabilities as per the RPWD Act. Supports mechanism to suit the varying needs of different categories of children with disabilities to ensure their full participation and inclusion in the classroom. Stresses on the availability of assistive devices and appropriate technology-based tools as well as adequate and language-appropriate teaching learning materials for children with disabilities. Prescribes NIOS to develop high-quality modules to teach Indian Sign Language ISL and to children with hearing disabilities. Technology-based solution to be used for the orientation of parent and caregivers along with wide-scale dissemination of learning materials to enable them to actively support their children's learning needs, encompasses awareness and knowledge on teaching skills for children with disabilities, including children with learning disability, to be an integral part of teacher education program. Students to be sensitized by teachers, social workers and counselors to bring in an inclusive school curriculum. Continuity of common approach of equity and inclusion across school and higher education. 
5.9 with the coming into effect of new national education policy and rpwd act 2016 there is a need to take affirmative actions accordingly to foster inclusive education the policy aims at giving chance to every child with disability and leave no child with disability behind the policy emphasizes on the state and uts will insert a provision regarding compliance of the provisions of rpwd act 2016 by educational institutions while recognizing and granting permission to them every district will have a nodal officer to oversee admission of students with disabilities in inclusive school setup without discrimination many children with disabilities who cannot join inclusive education will continue to get education services from special schools or through home based learning system the ultimate objective of special schools and home based learning is to prepare children with disabilities to join the inclusive education a system will be developed to monitor the progress of each child with disability based on learning outcomes the government will strengthen its scholarship scheme and expand the outreach with a view to check drop out at lower classes scholarships at primary level will be explored accessible e content of all course curriculum and reference book material will be developed demo videos with sign language interpretation and audio description will be made available to make the learning process accessible all the educational institutions will have accessible campus including accessible library and classrooms toilets auditoriums etc disability specific course curriculum and evaluation system shall be developed the right to education act 2009 should be aligned with the rpwd act by including specific concerns of children with disabilities school ecosystems should be enriched by involving all stakeholders in support of students with disabilities use of information technology for education of children with disabilities needs to be expanded training of teachers about the learning needs and inclusion of diverse learners should be taken on priority and teaching practices needs complete transformation in tune with nep 2020 and rpwd act 2016 every government and government aided higher educational institution to ensure implementation of 5% of reservation for persons with disabilities and should have a licensing officer to guide students with disabilities the government through ncert aict ugc and other bodies will ensure periodic training of teachers to sensitize them about the needs of persons with disabilities use of sign language and the issues of managing such children in an inclusive setup specific and adequate financial allocation in the education budget should be made at the central and state level such allocation should take care of the needs of aids and assistive devices including learning tools such as smartphones laptops etc to assess digital education there is a need to foster effective partnership involving government private sector local community and civil society to overcome the stereotypes and create positive attitude towards the ability of children with disabilities both in the classroom and beyond for envisioning universal inclusive education 
a joint mechanism for implementation of inclusive education should be worked out by the state and UTs considering the special needs of students with intellectual disability including SLD and autism spectrum disorder in the way of periodical home-based learning. To achieve the policy objectives, a coordination mechanism under Ministry of Education will be established for effective convergence of all education programs for children and youth with disabilities. Ministry of Education will be approached to include Indian Sign Language and closed captioning in their educational videos.